time was taken to make this movie? movie. Dry tears. What, what just what just happened? What, what did I see? What am I looking at? This is crazy. This is totally unbelievable, all right? It is so unbelievable that my wife would jump at anything negative about me just to assume the worst. Well, it goes without saying. There's no smoke without fire. Well, well the bloggers are smoke machines. You of all people should know that, right? Judy, you're an actress for crying out loud, all right? That makes me a target for fake news. I, I don't believe you. You know what? Give me that. L let me read the headline that's tearing up this fuse. Read this. Read it. Ex Nollywood. Go ahead, go ahead, read it. Nollywood Divas Husband in Rape and Alleged Baby Mama Scandal. You know I'm totally offended by this, right? You know that, right? You're a good looking man. A really good looking man. A baby mama drama is not beneath you. So you now really think I'll rape because I'm good looking? Listen, you know what? I forgive you. You what? I forgive you. Wait, wait. No, 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 no. You're not listening to me, all right? There's nothing to forgive, okay? You cannot forgive something that I did not do. Okay, but I forgive you anyways. Or do you want me to unforgive you? Are you ready for that kind of heat? You... <laughs> Unbelievable, totally unbelievable. God, hi everyone, welcome to an amazing time with me. If you're just meeting me for the first time, my name is Chacha Wabara. And if you're new here, thank you and welcome to my returning subscribers and viewers. Thank you so much for joining. So, today I'll be reviewing the movie um, Dry Tears, it's a 2021, yeah, um, Nigerian movie that uh, had notable actors and actresses like um, Bimbo Ademoye, Bolanle Nino Lowo, Anita Keys, uh, Brian Emmanuel, and Sadiq Sule. Let's just get right into it. So this movie is um, about a Nollywood actress, yeah, whose career was whining and um, she wanted to still be in the market, like, have more jobs and popularity and was just so dissatisfied with her life. Spimba Ademoye was the actress and her husband was Bolanle. He was such a loving husband who was out of a job, handsome, you know, looked the part of a hunk. She was dissatisfied. So what did she do? Somehow she got to find out that actors and actresses in, in the industry would pay bloggers to run fake stories about them. So get this, she paid for a fake story on her husband, that her husband cheats on her. And Bonhalle saw it and was like, oh, why would you do something like that? Everybody hates me. People are calling me out and all. And she says, listen, you have to earn your keep, in quote. And she says, don't you see, I started getting roles and being born out tells Bonhalle to go meet um, a hooker and pay her, have something to do with her, blah, 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 blah. And this guy does that. Along the line, the hooker, the prostitute, gets pregnant. I was looking at this movie with trepidation and I'm like, okay, 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 so that's where it is now. Okay. She started paying for the antenata. I don't understand. Anyway, it's a movie, but how real can that be in a real life situation? You know, there's some things you don't just, I don't know, what were they thinking in, in the plot? So anyway, she pays for it. Her Bolanle falls in love with that prostitute. Uh, they even duped her, took her money and made off with the money. I was somewhat dissatisfed with the movie. Gave value, but in as much as it gave value, these two people, Bimbo and Bolanli, they didn't give their all. I didn't feel it. I didn't feel that thing. I didn't feel everything from Bimbo, the way Bimbo would practically, you know, give out everything in a movie. And the Bolanli did not just do. The lover boy thing he didn't do. He didn't do too much. Like. They were not just real with each other. But I don't know what where their heads were in this movie that would have been a, a god awesome movie. It was just annoying. When the movie ended too, I was like, really? Like seriously, this girl would just leave this guy and they would go, irrespective of the fact that he said, okay, I will, I will destroy you. I will do this. Go your own way. Let me just go my own way. Blah 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 blah. Oh, the movie was just bland at the end, and I was wondering, oh my goodness, where are we going to from here? What is going on? Um, 
no 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 it was a no for me it's a big no for me and i'm not just impressed at all view it's a very short movie review today so which brings my movie review to an end i'm going to be rating this movie a 4 over 10 no. when i watch good movies like god calling black rose um, who is boss and then i start watching wild affair and um this one dry tears i'm like god how am i going to i'm supposed to, I'm supposed to marry this one you know that extremely extreme in contrast to each other like i'm like oh god where's the brilliance so i'm, I'm not just impressed at all in the playlist there are more of my movies in them you can binge watch till i see you next time it's bye for now bye